Right my friends, how are we? What is going on? And welcome back to another reaction video. Welcome back to Rugby Player Reacts to Darius Slay, the 92nd best player as voted by his peers in the NFL for the year 2019 slash 2020. You know, calling it 2020, 2019, it's, you know, with a, with a season that crosses over, it's a bit confusing, but, you know, it'll always be the way. We call this the top 100 players of 2020, and at number 92 is Darius Slay, the first cornerback we've seen on the list. So let's go. Let's check him out. Familiar with the top of the I've been on it twice. <laughs> Finna be three. I've been on high. Believe me, this thing is here. Finna be three. Three years in a row. Yeah, boy. That's right. I remember, bro. I remember. Gary Slay, man. I love, love, love this game. Game day, baby. Let's go. Let's go. I actually can't remember a lot about his game, but I like him as a person. I respect Slay guys that plays my style. And I think um, Slay, you know, he plays my style more than a lot of guys. Plays my style more than me. He's a menace back there. He is a menace. Gets his hands in everything. Darius Slay has been one of the premier corners in the NFL for the past seven years. First with the Lions, and now with the Eagles. Oh, is that the Eagles? How good he's impressed and how he can play off coverage. He's one of the best in the league and he's been doing that at a high level since he's been here. Since 2013, Slay leads the NFL and passes defense with 104. The reigning defensive player of the year is second with 95. Ah, who's that? He's going up with the, you know, the number one guy each every week, no matter where he line up. He is going up against some, some lethal receivers, Darius man. Darius Slay got a hand in there to knock it away from Terry McLaurin. Knocked away by Darius Slay. It is knocked away completely by Darius Okay, I've got to be honest, man. <laughs> After saying that, he was going up against some elite receivers. All three of those receivers, I actually don't know who the hell they are, so, yeah, I don't know. Oh, that is a terrible, go son, show us your pace. What do you got? Score that. He's one of those guys who's gonna pretty much always be in the right position. That guy looks like Alan Robinson looks a spitting image of Devontae Adams. Oh, that was against Robinson. Alright, well how many interceptions did he get? Because we saw one. That might have been his only one. What's this about him going to the Eagles? He, uh, what do we got? On March 20th, so post-season, he was traded to the Eagles in exchange for a third round and fifth round selection in the 2020 draft. It'll be interesting to see what they, uh, they get with those. Along with the trade, he signed a new three-year deal the next day with the Eagles worth 50 million, including 30 million guarantees. <laughs> Fuck, what? What? Uh, so, Okay, so he's freeing up some salary cap, obviously, at the Lions, which they clearly needed. But, for a third round and a fifth round selection, like, really? Draft picks? I just don't know how and why draft picks are seen so highly. Or maybe that's just something to give them back. Maybe it's just the fact that the Lions actually uh, needed to get rid of him for, for other reasons. Who knows? 436 40-yard dash. 35 and a half vertical, 10 foot 4 broad jump, and he's he's just under 6 foot, he's 183, I'm going to call him 6 foot, 6 foot tall, 190 pounds, oh shit, I forgot something, I forgot to look at his stats, <clears throat> last year, 
Interceptions, he got two uh, for 19 yards at an average of 9.5. His longest being 19 yards, which is the one that we just saw. He scored, he, he scored, he's got one sack as a corner and one touchdown as a corner. Not bad. He doesn't have the great size. I would put him in the top tier when it just comes to pure athleticism. He's fast, he's quick, he can break, has the ball skills. Anytime you want to throw it, I'm wide open. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, you don't want to throw it to him. You don't. But he's only got two interceptions the whole year, so he's all about breaking up tackles. I feel like he's all about breaking up tackles. He may be on the smaller side, so it's not easy for him to actually get over the top of a receiver and make that, that interception. Um, or at least that's how... That's how I'm thinking of it. Guys, um, I want to say thank you for watching. I want to say um, I hope you're enjoying the series. And I want to say let's get into the 10th video of the series. Number 91, Grady Jarrett. Now, the name that comes to mind, well, I haven't got dyslexia, but when I read that, I see Miles Garrett. But it's certainly not Miles Garrett. It's Grady Jarrett. So with that being said, he's a defensive tackle for the Falcons. And I'll see you soon. Yeah.